What's good, you guys? It's your girl, Cutie, and I'm back with another video. Y'all, we're just going to do a quick little recap on everything that has been going on, y'all. Um, first of all, I want to go ahead and get into it with the DC Young Fly situation. I have not spoken on it yet as far as the funeral and his speech and everything, so I'm going to do a real quick um, recap of that, okay? So, you know, a lot of people are saying a lot of things about DC Young Fly's speech. They're saying a lot of things about his demeanor at the funeral, and they are basically, you know, alleging that he sacrificed Miss Jackie O. Do I believe this? Absolutely not. But that doesn't mean, hey, I don't know these people, but me personally, I just don't believe it. I do believe that people grieve differently, and we do not know how he has grieved behind the scenes, okay? So anyway, parts of the speech, I did kind of feel like, okay, you know, maybe that's not the direction that the speech should have went, but you know, I get it. People handle grief in situations differently. Okay. And mind you, this is not to bash anyone because I'm a big DC Young Fly fan. Um, no one's perfect, but like I said, it just, you know, it, it kind of, it was a little, it was a little kind of awkward for me that's just my personal opinion okay um also you know at jackie's funeral it was a lot of celebrities taking pictures and putting up footage and to me you know just to say that you know she's jackie oh i just felt like it was kind of different for and kind of you know i don't know i just felt like maybe you know i know a lot of the greatest they have their funerals and they have open caskets and they have people viewing them thousands and millions of people you know Whitney, excuse me, y'all. I've I've yawned it, but I ain't gonna start this over. My bad, y'all. Look, I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it real on these videos, okay? I ain't trying to make them perfect, but I'm trying to make them entertaining. It's about the entertainment, okay? So anyway, y'all. Um, so I just feel like you know, with the celebrities taking pictures and stuff like that, it was kind of weird to me. It was kind of awkward, you know. It was the simple fact of I don't know. It just, I just felt like they 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 really was just doing the most you know what i'm saying i didn't i didn't feel comfortable with her being deceased in her coffin and people are sitting up there like yeah let me let me put her up there let me take pictures let me let me put on social media it just was really weird to me and i just don't think you know i didn't know jackie o personally but i really don't think that that woman would have been okay with that i don't think that that woman would have been okay with just you know her being you know just I don't know. It just, it's something about the funeral. It's like, it felt like it was a rush funeral for one. It felt like the people was trying to rush it. And it just felt like, I understand perfect peace. I understand that. Okay. But even people that have perfect peace, even the most Christian people, they, I've seen them cry funerals. Okay. And we know we're not supposed to cry funerals. We're supposed to rejoice in this and that in the, in the third. We know. But it's like, and that's what the Bible says. But yeah, it's like, you know, and it's not, I'm not trying to go against God's word. I, we human at the end of the day, okay? Um, and one thing that stuck out to me was DC was like, this ain't hard, but it's not easy. So that comment alone had me like, what? Okay, but either way it goes, you guys, I still want to, you know, send and offer prayers to the family, okay? So anyway, moving along. Girl, Nelly and Ashanti was over there in a matching outfits. Girl, did y'all see Nelly and Ashanti? Girl, they were in matching outfits, honey. I said, okay. I said, baby, hopefully one day I can be in love like that to where we matching. Because, girl, they had baby. They are just, they smiles tell it all, okay? Baby, the veneers is veneering in the mouths, okay? Baby, they are happy, okay? And then I have any, I don't even remember Nelly smiling this much when he was with his last girl, okay? So, y'all, I guess it's true what it say. True love always comes back now, okay? Maybe they wasn't ready for each other at that time, but now they ready ready okay they ready they willing you know so i'm wishing happiness for that beautiful couple because i love them together they are just cute to me okay i see them getting married though nelly and ashanti i see them getting married for real for real okay but anyway let's move along chris sean and blueface girl performing at the mayweather versus got it fight and you guys stay tuned for that because girl i got a real messy video coming up for that one child but yes the mayweather versus got it fight Krishan and Blueface was performing. Child, the performance was a hot mess, baby. Krishan uh, was dancing off beat. Uh, she was all out of breath. Blueface was out of breath. He was hopping and bouncing that uh, burrito size head, shaped head. Child, they thought they ate, okay, at that performance. <laughs> Girl, they thought they ate. Poor baby was in that womb just a bouncing, okay? So anyway... I don't know. I just didn't like it. I, I didn't like it. It was very cringe. It was very thrown together. Um, I, 
I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it, okay? And I guess Krishan got that little gig because, excuse me again, y'all. I guess she got that little gig because she is, you know, friends with Yaya, okay? We know her and Yaya, both of they crazy. They best, crazy besties, okay? So, yeah, she got that little, that little yeah with the yeah. Then, of course, she probably called Blue, hey, babe, if you take me back, you can perform with me with Mayweather, da 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 And, of course, Blue with a, like, Blue, uh, blue, not Blue Weather, go look. May, uh, Blue Face, of course, he was like, oh, yeah, well, uh, see you later, Stewie, baby. He chucked the deuces up to them cheering and Stewie, honey, for their performance, okay? But anyway, moving along, y'all. So Cherie, you guys, she was on Andy Cohen's show, you guys, lying about having work done, okay? Because Andy had asked if she had work done. She's like, oh, no, uh, uh, no, Cherie. And girl, Portia just busted out lying, okay? I was, I mean, laughing. I was too tickled, okay? Because Cherie, why you come on TV lying, sis? Why? So also, you guys, I saw that Cherie was on Angela Yee's podcast, Okay. And y'all know Angela Yee was on The Breakfast Club. She used to be on The Breakfast Club. But um, Cherie was over there on their podcast getting her two cents in about Candy, okay? So sis said that Candy keeps on speaking negatively about her business. And she says this, uh, that she supported all of Candy's businesses, okay? Cherie says that she even brought a bunch of people to one of Candy's restaurants and paid all of the people's way that she bought with her, okay? But she said that Candy doesn't support her the same or support any of her business. And she said, Cherie said that Candy... I guess made some messy negative comments allegedly towards Cherie's business. I guess her clothing business, she bought Cherie, whatever it was. So Cherie felt the ways about that, okay? So child, I don't know what it is with that, but neither here or there, all right? But Cherie, stop lying and telling the people that you set up there and you ain't getting no surgery on their face or whatever you got. Girl, you got something going on with that face. And ain't nothing wrong with Cherie. Like I said in my, all my video, Cherie is a very pretty woman. Cherie don't be needing all this stuff, so I don't even know why she putting all this stuff in her cheeks and her face and up that line saying she not, okay? Moving along, you guys, Ari Fletcher is outside. Now, listen, y'all. Now, have y'all seen her? Okay, sis is glowing, okay? Now, sis has been outside, and she's been looking real single after the episode of money bag yo when it was dropped on the angie martinez's podcast because shout out to angie martinez great show great podcast but what's t re what's t girl she is over there glowing and you know girl the girls be glowing up after them breakups honey after them relationships that kept you bound girl when them niggas gone baby you be glowing up but yes girl miss ari is glowing up baby she has her cute little outfits on baby her skin is glowing she's smiling more baby it's been a little bit girl look okay I'm not mad at him. I ain't mad at you, Ari. Girl, have you a good time, baby. It's time to let that go because, baby, he got a busload of kids and a, a bigger busload of problems. Uh-uh, baby. You only got one child, baby. Go find your husband. Go find your husband, all right? So anyway, you guys, y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. We got some more tea coming up today. You guys, your girl will be posting in bulk, okay? Make sure you keep your hearts pure and your souls divine, and your girl will see you in the next one.